Okay, it's seven o'clock. This is Vicki Rellis, chair of the, I guess we'll call it TASC, T-A-S-C, Town Administrator Search Committee. So that's our acronym. <laughs> um, sounds, sounds important. Anyway, um, I will open the meeting at uh, 7.01. And at this point, um, would like to review the agenda. Our agenda this evening is um, an open session. I call the meeting to order. And right at this point, there will be one topic that we will add to this, uh, and that will be a review of the MRI contract. And that will be after, um, before we adjourn the meeting. So the first uh, note of the meeting is to consider draft minutes of March 7th and March 14th, second note of the meeting is to uh, review process and procedures and timeline with MRI, Municipal Resources Inc, uh, Buzz and Bob adjourning us. And then we adjourn the meet before they adjourn the meeting, we can review the, um, the uh, a contract for MRI. So at this point, I will take a um, approval that we amend the agenda and add uh, the um, contract for MRI as number three on the agenda and, and then adjourn after that. So moved. Second. All in favor? Jeff? Aye. Courtney? I have a question. Mm -hmm. this, this, this is under the 48 hour rule. We couldn't anticipate this. Understood. That's why I'm just putting it out there. I don't yeah. think we're going to do anything I, with it, but I, I did put it on. So I, I just want to clarify before I vote on it. Yeah, <laughs> no, no, that's fine. The lawyers fine. actually got back to me this afternoon because initially. Totally fine then. I just want to make sure we set it on the record. Yeah, it's, our, it's our, the 48 hour rule. We probably, but no one's had a time besides me to review the contract. So we probably won't discuss it today, but. But you, um, but Jeff um, said that we could put it on tonight and as yeah. did the, the town council. So oh, everybody could at least see it. I'll vote aye. Okay. <laughs> Courtney, um, George. Aye. Carol. Can't hear you, Carol. Sorry. I you're apologize. Mute. Aye. Thanks. Bill. Aye. Mary. Mary. You muted. Yep. Sorry. Aye. Okay. I got Paul. Paul? Aye. Vicki, aye. Is that everyone? Bill, did I call you? No, you're on mute. Call me and I said yes. Okay, sorry, Bill. Okay. The vote passes and we will begin the meeting. So at this point, um, I'm going to, I know, I want to make sure all of you received uh, the agenda of the conversation for uh, MRI gave to us. Um, I'm gonna introduce Bob and Buzz again. Um, they will be joining us, probably part of this meeting for a very long time. <laughs> <laughs> and the agenda was prepared by them so that we could review with them uh, what's going to happen in the next few weeks uh, or during the tenure of their consultant project um, and also uh, Buzz sent us the timeline proposal that they gave to Carver so we would have an idea of that as well but they will get one to us that's um, that's just made for our process particularly. So at this point I am going to turn the meeting over to Buzz and Bill and let them go and again the point of the review is to review and not vote on anything at this point. Um, We'll kind of go through that and Buzz and Bob will tell them, tell us primarily about what they do um, and how they do everything. And we spoke last week and the priority for us is to do it well, but also to do it efficiently and effectively so that we could do it in the shortest possible time uh, without any kind of um, 
uh, hiccups along the way that are, aren't, we'll, we'll obviously get ones that aren't anticipated, but they will show us the way to do it in a way that will make it streamlined. Okay, I will hand it over to you. Bob? Great. Buzz? Buzz? All right, Bob, why don't you lead off and um, we'll okay. get into okay. these folks. Well, again, thank you. Uh, Buzz and I have been talking about this uh, for the past week or so, uh, which is what prompted us to uh, create uh, just talking points uh, that we sent to Vicki and uh, she was gonna send out to the committee, which she has. Uh, the reason we, we like to do that is we like to give you as the committee a sense as to what we need from you, what your expectations are of us. And to Vicki's point about the process, and where we could go awry. We're gonna talk about that in terms of timing, um, but we're gonna to try to keep you guys pretty focused on the direction we're leaning and moving forward. And that's why we, uh, we talked about uh, these type of items. And we're gonna walk through it and explain it to, to them. Vicki, I'm, I'm assuming you're the control agent for this discussion <laughs> so that uh, you'll select people and- Yes, but uh, yes. And okay. Jeff has Jeff has the um, the steering power for the Zoom, but I can call on people as well. Okay, okay, uh, you know, and, and Buzz and I we we consider this pretty freewheeling. If you have questions, don't be afraid to ask. It's good for you to get those out while you're thinking about them, uh, as opposed to after the fact. And uh, and we'll just try to walk through. One of the first things Buzz and I talked about is <clears throat> we've met you. Uh, we've met you the. Uh, the interviews and um, one of the things we, we're not quite sure and Vicki we had this brief discussion is your representation in other words who or are you representing a specific group now obviously we know Jeff we know George are representing the appointing authority and Paul um, but the others here could, could you just walk us through who you're representing in this process So in terms of, um, I, I'm, I, I guess I'm a little confused when you ask who we're representing. So yeah, well, let me, let me explain. If there's a department head here, if there's a representative okay. from the school side that uh, your town felt that was important, is there somebody from the finance side that's on this committee? It just helps us to identify the people that are on the committee so that we can kind of mold the whole profile based gotcha. on- Okay. comments we get back from you folks. Well, I guess I'll start and then we can go through. Um, I am uh, on the um, personnel board. Uh, so okay. I'm vice chair of the personnel board. So I guess that's my my uh, my role and my interest to who I'm representing. Yep. Um, Mary? I'm, <clears throat> I'm here as citizen at large, although I am also the town moderator, but that is not my role on this committee. Jeff? Uh, yeah, I'm on the select board and previously was on the, we, we call our finance committee the advisory committee. So I was on that for six years okay. before this. <laughs> Running for re-election this year. <laughs> okay. Courtney? Um, I'm here as a citizen as large at large as well, but I am also on the conservation commission. Carol? Uh, I am also citizen at large, but I serve um, additionally on the Disability Advisory Board and the Council on Aging. Perfect. And CLA. Bill? Oh, sorry. Bill? Uh, sorry. Uh, I'm, uh, I am also a citizen, citizen at large, but I am on the Board of Assessors. Ah. Mm -hmm. Paul? So I'm a select board member, former planning board member, former member of advisory committee, all kinds of other committees. Mm -hmm. George? Yeah, uh, Bob, I think you, you might have misrepresented me. I am not a part of the appointing. Uh, ah, okay. I apologize. I'm on the select board. Um, I, I will be if the other two want me to, but... <laughs> <laughs> I, uh, I, I guess I was thinking about this. I guess I represent the old guard. Um, I've, I've been in town uh, essentially my whole life. I've served on a number of boards uh, in town, and um, I continue to serve on a number of uh, local organizations. And, uh, and at one time, many years ago, I um, held the 
we didn't call it the town administrator job back then, but it's essentially evolved into town administrator. Mm -hmm. I had that back in 1974 to 79. It would have been like uh, executive secretary or something secretary like that. that era. Yeah. They actually, uh, they called it the administrative assistant. Oh, okay. <laughs> yep. yep. George, way back, way back when I started in Maynard, it was called an administrative assistant. Yeah. They subsequently grew to a town manager form, but right. uh, that was that was my first position. Started uh, starting starting salary ninety six hundred. Oh, you beat me. I was 80, 80, 88 <laughs> or something. <laughs> I, I forget. <laughs> uh, see, this is this is very. Oh, wait, wait a minute, and uh, Diane, uh, uh, Diane's uh, interim. Yes, Diane's yeah. joining us as well. Sorry about that. Okay. All right. She'll probably we'll be on most of these meetings as well. You're on okay. mute. Yeah, she's the interim um, TA. She's critical. You yes. know, you you guys have already given us some some good information, which is why we like to go through this. For instance, Vicky, you're on a personnel board. Um, either Bill or one of you said you're an assessor on a board of assessors. Bill. Yeah. No. Yeah, and I'm looking at your warrant, and you're looking to make some changes uh, in your warrant for both the personnel board, uh, in other words, a human resources director that appoints is appointed by the TA, and Bill. I guess they're trying to make from elected to appointed assessors. It's on the warrant. Yeah, that's what I I read that, and so yeah, it's good to have. They're yeah. trying to get rid of me. <laughs> um, no, but that's important for us to know. Uh, that's something that a new TA, depending on what town meeting does, but a new TA, uh, that, that's that's a change in, in the way you govern yourself, and that's important for us to know right up front. So, um, so Bob, before we go too far, I'm, I'm yep. curious now with Diane. Uh, uh, Diane, what was your role prior to interim TA? I was the um, assistant TA. Oh, okay, good. I wasn't. That's good to know. All right. Okay. So uh, you both, you, you all know uh, Buzz and I, so uh, enough of that in terms of introductions. <laughs> um, so we sequence these searches. Uh, we have bullet points that you see there that we, uh, we will walk through, but we're also going to need some feedback uh, from you. And, um, you know, you don't need to make uh, voting decisions or anything tonight. We just want to give you an overview of the process going forward so that you'll have an idea. Once we get some some feedback from you folks tonight, it's our intention to uh, go back and uh, craft up a, a draft ad. That starts the whole process. It's generally a 30-day period that we advertise. And when we advertise, and we, I think we said it, um, we advertise in all of the New England municipal associations, whether it's Rhode Island or Connecticut or Massachusetts, uh, New Hampshire, Vermont, and, and Maine. Um, we also advertise in the ICMA, uh, which is the International City Managers Association, for those of you who are not aware. Um, that generally gives us a, a, a pretty good sense of who's responding. The ICMA is an international, as it says, and uh, you get people from all over that see those announcements. And uh, the interesting thing we see in the ICMA, uh, in addition to the MMA, which generally garners the best response that we get, but we see people across the country who have roots in New England, and they see it in the ICMA and want to come back. So we may get some of those intriguing people that we think are, uh, are worthy of being considered. Um, so that's the reason for the ICMA. As I said, we advertise for about 30 days. Uh, actually, we do do 30 days. So we've got a couple of questions on the ad, if you don't mind, Vicki. Okay, so, so the ad is, is pretty generic. It's a notice that the position is available. Uh, we don't have to get into a hell of a lot of detail. Uh, people who understand these positions know what it is. Uh, but we want to alert people that the position of TA in Sherbin is available. And we'll, we'll doctor it up a bit. Uh, but what's important in any advertisement like that is where do you think you may be going in terms of wages? Um, 
that's an important consideration for people. I know we recently had a community that didn't want to put a wage in, and we we think we we think in our experience that that creates a negative to the community because people aren't aware. And if it's ninety five thousand dollars, that's one thing. If it's one hundred seventy five thousand, that's another thing. Uh, so people who don't see anything advertised will say, I don't, I, I have no idea. I have no idea if I'm interested. Bob, I did send an email to Eric, um, and I know he's in, he's indisposed this evening about the a range that if the okay. select board had a range. So I guess it's best to address Paul and Jeff at this point, because they're the ones that would have the data on that. Um, I mean, Obviously, we have the data on what we paid. Yep. Um, so, Paul and Je Jeff, why don't you, or one of the two of you, you know, address the wage? Is there a range that we can put down that's you 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 know that's um, approved in the budget? Well, or do we I have to work on that one this week? I wouldn't worry about the budget too much. I think we need to. Uh, um, do some form of an informal salary survey. We did that already um, right. when we were doing the DPW director contract. So we did. We we looked, just, yeah, we did look around. I yeah. did some data uh, retrieval for uh, local communities. Mm -hmm. and, yeah. um, you guys probably know what the range is also. So what do you think the range should be for something for our town? Well, first of all, what was um, the former TA? What was uh, uh, David? What was David? Yeah. 160? Was he 160? Just under that, somewhere between 155 and 160, I believe. I don't have okay. the exact number, but in that range. Yeah, well, that's, 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 that's good to know. That's, yeah, that's good. So, yeah. Vicki, we, we, don't, we don't need to know that. What we're going to do is uh, we'll create a draft ad and we'll send it off to you. Okay. And, you know, we can, it's easy to plug in a number. Okay. And, um, you know, so we'll, we'll do that, Buzz, I think this week, we'll give them a draft. So, Vicki, mm -hmm. um, you told me you're meeting weekly? Yes, right now we're, we're uh, okay. planning on a weekly meetings. Okay, so you'll be able to look at that next Monday? Yeah, and hopefully before that, yeah. Okay, and have some information on sale. Yes. And just tell us what the number is and we'll, okay. we'll just plug that in. Well, in uh, your experience uh, though, uh, Bob, what would you say would be at a appropriate breadth of the range. If we said something like 140 to 170, would that be too broad, a $30,000? You know, because you always put in the phrase commensurate with experience and, right. you know, uh, you know, credentials and everything. But how, how broad of a range would you recommend? Well, Buzz and I may have different opinions. I like a, about a 20,000 range, yeah. 150 to 170, 140 to 160, yeah. whatever. But yeah. Buzz, you agree? Yeah, I, I think a, a, a range, a, a twenty thousand range, is about right. And I think for a community like this, one forty to one sixty, uh, you know, you could go one fifty to one seventy. I think what what you want is um, uh, to get attention and to let the prospective candidates know this is a serious job. You know, right. this is not, um, you know, a. Um, do you, do you know? Do you know what Carlisle put their number out at? Kyle, Kyle I, I don't know, but we, we can, we can, get I it can pretty, Google it. They're high. I, can look on, I can look on Paradigm's website right yeah. now. They're going to um, be pretty high. Okay. Yeah. I'll let you know. I, I thought it was the 170 range, but I might be wrong. Yeah. I mean, we know, we know Tim there, uh, Tim Goddard, and um, he, he, Kyle out pays well for a small town, uh, but they are similar to you in terms right. of population and those type right. of things. So, um, well, the the other consideration, though, David was at one sixty, but he he he's been here eleven years. Correct. So so it wasn't Correct. an entry level salary. So it sort of right. depends if you're if you're getting someone from out of state that's maybe an assistant town administrator somewhere. That's a completely different. Not that we right. wouldn't consider them, but that's why I think twenty thousand is too narrow. Or if you're getting a pretty seasoned person, you know, you would want a higher end range. So it's sort of hard to know. We would consider i think both you know a, a younger candidate um the problem yep. from our experience because we went through this with the police chief search too is um if you get a young less experienced person they're likely to move on you know we don't we would prefer i, I think sort of a, i haven't taken a poll of the committee but our preference would be probably someone you know 
a little bit more seasoned first of all because in a small town you don't have much depth you know so it's right. not like you can right. learn on the job because right. you gotta, and the second thing is if you get a young person they're probably you know looking to then move to a bigger town or larger responsibilities and we would probably not want someone that's here for a few years and moves on so so if we gear though the the range at you know on the higher side we're going to get people that are probably seasoned i mean we're not going to pay somebody right out of the block that you know right no, has done that right. higher, the higher end of the low the lower end of the higher range george did you have a question yeah i uh, before you went on further i i did notice that you were suggesting a 30-day period for advertising and mm -hmm. is there special magic in that i know we don't want to drag it out on the other hand um i i want to be sure that 30 days is a long enough period and that it shouldn't be 45 days for example i don't yeah. know you've done yep. enough yep to know i i i think george to answer your question I, I think 30 days is is the standard that people are advertising these days and the reason and, and specifically to that to your question um, we, we know people who are interested in doing these current jobs as TAs at town manager. They're very busy right now. They're getting ready for your town meetings and all that kind of stuff. They may miss it if we only advertise for a couple of weeks. Mm -hmm. um, you know, and we don't want that. We, we want this to be out there. So if they're just sitting at home and checking a site and they say, oh, I didn't know that was open. And it's been posted for three weeks. So to answer your question, George, we think 30 days is really the standard. I will say this. We and you know we'll we'll talk to the committee about it. But as we get the returns, um, Buzz was a Bloomfield, Connecticut. Uh, we didn't like what we saw. We asked them. We asked the committee to extend it, extend okay. the advertising. I, I would hope you would do that if you thought yep. it was. Yep. Uh, yep. In your best. Well, Bloom, Bloomfield's a lot bigger though. A very big town. Bloomfield's yeah. big. Yep. Yep. Uh, uh, if I may, yeah. I just checked the Paradigm's website. Yeah, the uh, Carlisle is 170 plus or minus with that, K, you know, that, that, that that's famous depending on qualifications. So okay. that's, um, uh, that, that's pretty attractive. I think, we'd want, I think we'd want a high number to attract senior candidates, but I, the reason I like the 140 to 170 is we don't want to necessarily preclude someone who's younger from applying. No. Or less, shouldn't say younger but less experienced so mm -hmm. you know if uh, jeff to that point if you if you get a crackerjack mm -hmm. uh, assistant city manager from worcester or yeah. whatever yeah, making yeah. one hundred thirty-five thousand, mm -hmm. something like this would be pretty attractive if you advertise from the 140 to the 170 right you know so i think it and, allows uh, us to sort of hit this i'm not sure the exact number the sweet spot of in between a super seasoned person and a, and a maybe more junior but uh go getter who's uh up and coming i yep. think mary mary has a, a question mary sorry mary that's okay um yeah i was thinking of the the salary range in terms of the ultimate negotiation when you sit down to negotiate a salary with these people if they see you know if you put you know say 160 you yeah. but you know in your mind that maybe you're willing to go to 170 you might not want to put 170 or whatever it is i'm just pulling yeah. 170 out of what you're talking about um and because then you know if you want them now you're you're really jacking up the price there so j just tossing that out there for people's consideration yeah, well, from my, from my perspective it's really your decision as a community yeah. I, I think you have a pretty good sense as to what people are doing around you um so it's really uh jeff and and uh where's paul paul you know when you you, you talk to your board members just give us a number uh, or a range whatever you think makes sense for the community and we just run with that and uh, uh, if i may I, you know it's our experience the candidates are, are not going to come in with uh you know a ridiculous request you know mm -hmm. they know they'll they, they'll be that, that that's that's not going to work uh, but they are going to want to know, you know, what um, uh, David got uh, there, you know, in terms of compensation. Of course, they know he was a very senior person and, uh, you know, a lot of experience. So that puts it in a whole different uh, range. Um, um, and, you know, they're going to want to know what, you know, they're going to look at what the police chief's uh, compensation is, the yeah. fire chief's compensation. 
uh, that sort of thing, uh, they will have done their homework, uh, the good ones, and and they'll know that, you know, if everything works out, they're going to grow in their, um, uh, you know, coal compensation package over their career there. So our experience is that very few are going to overreach in right. in a negotiation process. You know, it's just, uh, we just don't, we haven't seen that. Right, right. Okay, so uh, Vicki, our intention is to get you a draft yes. of an ad, uh, okay. absent uh, wages. Uh, you guys can figure that out. Um, the other thing we'd suggest, and we're gonna suggest it throughout this discussion tonight, is if if we send you documents, and I'm thinking specifically about a, a profile and challenge statement, essay questions, those type of things. <clears throat> we've, we've done this in the past, obviously, but we have noticed that some committees want to get into the weeds, if that's a fair statement. Um, and sometimes that really delays a process because uh, well, we would suggest this. If we send you a document, let's let's say the ad for next week. If people have comments on it, they should be filtered through you. And you should just send those to, after you decide what you want to do with those, if they make okay. sense, just send them to us and okay. we'll incorporate it. Uh, what we don't want to get into is the, the, the emails back and forth. And how about changing this word to if, as opposed to all, and you know, that type of stuff. It's the, if the wordsmithing uh, becomes too involved, it, it delays the process. Agreed. Okay. okay. So that's for you and the committee to, to figure out. So okay. Buzz, I'm good with the ad. Why all right. I, uh, I'm not, I, I have some fact toys that I've got to find out. Okay. The, um, what population do you folks uh, want to use? Uh, I, I, I think it's around 4,400. Is, is that a good number to use? Yeah. Uh, yeah I are... use 4,500, but I think 44 is actually correct. I don't know. Any, anywhere in that range. I think it, as long as you have the range yeah. close. Yeah. Yeah. All yeah. right. Um, all right. So if I use 44, is that going to be out of the realm? Um, and then, uh, Diane, I'd like to contact you tomorrow then to get, um, or tomorrow or Wednesday, to get some information about the budget the uh, FTEs, uh, full-time equivalents. Uh, typically what we like to put in is the, the total budget for the community. Uh, and we can put in the proposed budget if you like, uh, or the uh, fiscal 22 budget. And then um, we have the, the, the total budget. Then we say what the, the town budget is. Then we put in what the, um, what the school budget is and um, any other unusual things that have, um, that, that just should be just should let candidates know um, about the community. Uh, typically, you know, we the bond rating AAA for you folks. Um, you know, uh, a green community. I'm going to assume you're a green community, and and yep. that sort of thing. We like to yeah. Uh, we we like to let you know candidates know all the good things, and there are plenty of good things to cite in here. So, um, Diane, I I think I I got your phone number. No, I don't, but I can get it from the website. Um, our, bu our budget's in the neighborhood total all in at $30 million. I don't have it memorized, yeah. but but the funny thing is, because we don't have any services, it's roughly 70 or 68% schools, I think, yeah. something like that. Yeah, not and a surprise. A, yep. It's a yep. regional regional school system, as you know, with Dover. So the, yep. we have yep. our own elementary school, and then the high school and middle school are regional. Yeah, Dover and, and I, I, would, I would just make uh, note of that in the ad. Yep. Uh, to let people know. Um, so uh, is it okay if I give you a call sometime tomorrow, uh, Diane? Sure, no problem. I'm going to um, send you my um, uh, my cell phone number. I'm just going to text it to you now. I'll send it to you in the chat. So that's the best way to reach me. Good. Thank you. Perfect. Yeah, so I'll, I'll be in touch with you sometime tomorrow, Wednesday morning. And then, okay. um, uh, 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 Vicki, my goal is to get you a draft uh, by the end of the day on Wednesday. Okay, great. Thank or you. First thing Thursday morning. Okay. But you, you know, and um, you take a look and we can, uh, you know, you can uh, 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 edit it or review it as needed. Um, so, Buzz, you want to pick up the discussion on um, 
the timing and the schedule. And again, this is not hot and fast. We just sent you the Kava one to give you an idea of the spacing that we need in terms of weeks uh, between task. Um, and that gets uh, the, the Kava one, there is a search committee of buzz nine people. Pretty, pretty like similar. That, yeah. yeah, pretty similar to this. Um, and, and they've been very good. And the chair has, uh, he, he's been a point of contact and he distributes information to the committee as he sees fit. And uh, he has reviewed, uh, and, and I'm assuming members of his, of his committee have reviewed the documents that we've prepared and they've turned it around very quickly. So uh, they, they adhered to us asking not to just wordsmith stuff, uh, but give us substance if you want changes. Um, and then get it to us, Vicki, through you, the, you know, you compile the data rather than us answering seven or eight different emails, <laughs> talking to people. It's got to come. Oh, that be makes some, sense. Yeah. Carol, well, if you could do that. So Carol, do you have a question? You're on mute, Carol. I keep doing this. I apologize. Um, I have a question, Bob, um, yep. uh, regarding this schedule. Um, having reviewed it and uh, looking at uh, the number of weeks and so on, you've already uh, surpassed a number of weeks in this schedule. Are, is Carver still on schedule for um, the elements of this time frame? In other words, have there been places where you've extended it uh, thus far or cut it back? Buzz? We are right with, on the number. Right on the number. Yeah. Okay. Oh. Which, which brings me to my second part of my question. Um, <laughs> are there places it can be cut back because um, it looks like 13 weeks, our ending date would be July 4th. And uh, I had plans for July 4th. Bob, <laughs> so I, oh. and, and we know to keep the committee happy. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, yeah. But I just wanted to know if, yeah. if in working with Carver thus far, at least, or in other searches, are there places to cut back or are you presenting something that's um, pretty much uh, your experience that we're going to be looking at this till July? Yeah, it's our experience that th um, this is going to work. Something like this. Could, could we condense? We can, but then that, that you know, uh, it gets into um, uh, uh, kind of rushing some uh, some of the process, and um, uh, it, it uh, you know a day or two here or there could be cut off. But let me just tell you what 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 is important in the process, and that is, as Bob mentioned, the uh, let's just kind of go through it, Carol. I think. Uh, uh, perhaps this will explain it. Uh, the, in recent searches, we have seen quality candidates, and that means quality candidates are, are, uh, are busy. They're currently working, and they've got, as Bob said, town meeting coming up. You know, they're they're doing all all the um, the the prep for that. So we um, uh, will have the ad out for uh, for four weeks. We like to end it on a uh, the due date on a Monday, because you will be surprised. Maybe you won't. How many people put it off until the very the last end. weekend? Yeah. And we will be monitoring the candidates that we want to see right up that final week, and we'll give them a little boost on Thursday or Friday and say, hey, "We haven't seen it yet. Get it in." Uh, so you know there there is some reach there. Uh, it, you know it's really the standard time is four weeks to do it. We like to end it on a um, on a, a, a Monday. Now, during that four weeks, one of the things we're going to be talking about is who do you folks want us to interview? We want to interview all of you, separate phone calls, half hour, 45 minutes, whatever it takes. I think that young lady in the background who's jumping will interview her. <laughs> is what, she, what does she want to see in her town in the next 20 or 30 years? Um, uh, so we want to hear from you folks on what you want. And it's important for us to know two things, really. The, the, what does the ideal candidate look like to you? We want an ideal 
candidate profile. And then we want to know what the challenges are. Because when we recruit, we tell the, uh, the prospective candidates what's going on in town. You know, and you'd be surprised. Some people say, eh, you know, I, I'm not interested. I, you know, I, I, I just, that's not me. Other people say, yeah, I, I could really get into that town. I understand what they're doing. It, you know, it, it, so we, we want to find out from you folks what the challenges and opportunities are. And it's, it's like a mosaic. Bob's going to talk to some of you folks. I'll talk to some of you. And then we get little bits and pieces like a mosaic. We put the thing together with these little, little bits and pieces that we get. And then we'll also talk to um, uh, other folks in town. You know, there may be uh, uh, people um, like um, uh, George, you know, who's emeritus and, um, you know, a townie who's uh, served uh, on a number of boards, committees that you think it's important that, uh, that we should talk to. And we'll do that as well as a police chief, fire chief, you know, school superintendent, perhaps members of the school committee. Um, so we, we like to get a picture of the community and that goes into the, um, the uh, profile, the community profile. And the community profile, you know, we'll, we'll, we'll get that to you in a draft form. What you're gonna, it'll be about four pages long, maybe five with uh, pictures. Uh, but the first page will be the job ad, second page would be the uh, ideal candidate profile. So all of this takes some time. And then the third uh, and the fourth page and perhaps the fifth page would be um, perhaps some photographs and, and also what the challenges are. We'll talk a little bit about, you know, kind of the, the history of the community, but then we really get into in the next five to 10 years, five to eight years, these are the things that the community is, is, is gonna be challenged with and uh, is gonna need you know, uh, some expertise in dealing with. You know, um, one thing we could do, Buzz, I'm interrupting you is, you know, we, we created two documents. One of our other select board members, Marion Neutrup, created a uh, open space and recreation plan for the town and a master master plan, both nice. of which have incredible photographs in nice. them. They're, they're yep. phenomenal documents. So the other thing we have, because I'm still chair of the Boy Scout troop in town, where Eagle Scout created a drone video of the entire town. Um, and so those are all three things are, are available on our website. Yeah, so you, I, could, uh, you could consider putting the link to the drone video in there if people were into that. Yeah, well, um, that's that's good. Uh, I too am involved with the Boy Scouts in my town, and they do a lot of work on the uh, on our trails and whatnot. Now, yeah, yeah. yeah what, what at, the, at the at the bottom of the ad, at the end of the ad, or at the end of the profile, one or the other, we will put links. And we'll put links to the drone. We'll put links actually to your website. We'll right. put links to the, um, uh, you know, the, your master plan. Right. Uh, right. To the, uh, the outdoor recreation plan, the, the, the you know, yep. the conservation plan. Uh, it's not unusual for us at the end of the profile to have, you know, three, four, five links mm -hmm. that you folks are important. I did see that drone. That was a terrific piece of work. <laughs> uh, yeah, he's turned it into a real estate business now, though. I'll yeah. bet. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that, that, yeah that, it could. So, I had um, a quick question, Buzz. So, as you're talking with, this is a, a tremendous amount of work, obviously. So, is everything that you're talking about doing part of what you're going to have ready to send out when you send out the ad? Or are you going to send the ad out and then when they respond, you're going to send this to them as well. Yes. So this is gonna take you a while to get to yeah. finish. It, 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 it is an important part of that, uh, Vicki, if I can, uh, is what Buzz talked about. And, and I guess I'm gonna assign you a task for next week. Uh, you guys need to start to think about who you want us to talk to. Believe it or not, we've had one community tell us not to talk to the appointing authority. Um, and I'm not, I'm, I'm, I'm not sure that works well, but. Well, we, have, we I, I sent it. Huh? Sorry, I I'll sent it. Go ahead. Go the, ahead. Th the thing is, this committee's pretty representative with nine. We have, it's, and that's by our bylaw, I think, with yeah. a slight exception. We have three select board members out of five yep. on it. We have the head of personnel, or vice chair of personnel, and then three citizens at large, one of whom 
Yeah. Uh, yeah. Has previously been town administrator three times as an interim, and yeah. one of whom was also our town moderator. So, <laughs> you're you're uh, you're and and uh, Courtney's on con common. We've got the uh, uh, assessor's office. So, you have a pretty See, broad spectrum right now. I agree. I agree. And preliminarily, the, the, I had yeah. sent out um, an overview of what everybody wanted for person for response personal responsibility traits and. Um, I think for job responsibilities as well. So I can gather all that and whoever didn't send it to me, I'll just um, let them know I don't have it and then send that to you. And it's pretty thorough. So you got you that Vicki from this committee or from yes. outsiders? No, this committee. This committee, okay. Good. So the question uh, I would ask you uh, is we yeah. typically, Buzz mentioned, we typically do talk to some of your key, not everybody, but your key department managers. Yeah. Police, fire, school superintendent, highway, public, whatever you call that. Um, sometimes some communities want us to talk to key board, uh, the chairman of the planning board, for instance, uh, to get a sense as to the future and what they're seeing and what he, he or she is seeing. Um, we have a representative on the conservation, um, but you need to think about that. Who do you want okay. us to talk to? I'll, I'll, I'll just send out a note to everyone to give me their short list of who they think should be on the long list for you. Okay. Um, that's, uh, Paul, that's, did you have a question? Yes, uh, it's sort of a legal question. We were talking about a 13 week period to hire and I'm wondering, does that 13 week period start after the contract is signed? Because if we don't, get to it tonight because some members haven't seen it yeah. it might be a week or two before we are able to do our internal processes and get it have the committee consider it and then have the select board consider it and if that's the case then we're looking at 15 16 weeks now we're not I, I i can answer that paul look you guys have told us you wanted to hire us whatever final iteration comes in the contract is is what it is we we have faith that uh you're acting in good faith we're gonna act in good faith let's move the process yeah we're trying to move that along yeah. that i think yeah. i think it'll be the you guys will get it the select board will get it more than likely within the next 10 days good good just, just not, a, clarify, not an issue oh, not an issue for us to clarify for fall town council chris petrini has already reviewed we already it. saw it yeah it's already been through it's that. already okay. been reviewed by town council and by it's eric just, and i yeah it just needs to be um jeff and eric uh gave town council the nod we need to look at it and then say recommend to the select board that we we approve this and then the select board's the final you know yep. write off and then yep. that's where it goes so yep. it'll get to the select board by next week for sure that that's fine we're, you know, we, we have faith. <laughs> well, the um, select board meets this Thursday. When's the next meeting after that? Two weeks after that. Yeah. April 21st, the meeting oh, after that. <clears throat> I have, I just wonder if others of us maybe have already looked at it. I can tell you I did. Um, and I, you know, I have good, I have faith in town council. And uh, I don't know if Paul, Jeff, if you've looked at it or not. I have not. I'm happy to go along with. I, I mean, okay. I think and at the end, end of the meeting, we'll look at it quickly and um, we'll take a vote and see how many people are comfortable with passing it on to select board and putting it on last minute to their meeting for Thursday night. Does that sound okay? All yeah, right. that's I'm, I'm supportive of okay, that. Okay, great. Thanks, Paul. Appreciate you bringing Good. that up. Thank you. Um, I just didn't want to see us lose a couple of weeks while we do the paperwork. Mm -hmm. I agree, Paul. And when, when we're done with this tonight, uh, Buzz and I are going are gonna to look at the schedule, as we said, and we're going to send you a, a new schedule, not the Carver schedule, but, but uh, the Sherbin schedule. So we'll look where we can tighten up and um, try to make sure that, uh, where is she? Carol gets her vacation in in July. <laughs> well, she's essential she takes the minutes she's absolutely probably the I most just, important i just can't see myself taking minutes till july but you go ahead and <laughs> it's a, 
it's on Zoom. You can do it for vacation too. So you're good to go. Don't worry. Oh, you're oh. cruel. Oh, that's you what she wants. To that to Jeff, you, you have to know, Jeff. I listen to all the tapes after I take the minutes. She I does. have to listen to this all over again. It's so. a lot of work. I know it's a, it is a ton of work. We we appreciate it. All kidding aside, we appreciate it, Carol, very much. <laughs> Yes. All right. So we we said uh, the preliminary discussion on the timing and the schedule. We're going to take care of that after uh, you know we we wrap up tonight, and we'll send you a document on that. But I, I had a note to myself on here just to let the committee know what we're seeing out there, and um, I can tell you that we're not getting the forty and thirty five applicants we typically get. Um, and I, I can tell you, it's 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 not about Sherbin, it's not about any of the communities we've been doing. It's just about the time. It's a very difficult time. I don't have to tell you, you guys are all involved in municipal government. Uh, we we have the situation where some of the people we think are interesting are staying where they are. That you know, the devil you know type thing. Uh, it's better to stay there and get be comfortable rather than walking into something new. So the bottom line in all of this is, and Buzz, you can correct me, we, we've had recent searches, uh, South Kingston being the most recent, but, but Carver, uh, Somerset, which we're currently doing, we're getting about 20 applicants. Now, people get a little nervous when you say that, but as we always tell people, it's not about quantity, it's about quality. And in, in all three of those communities, we, get, we had real quality people. So for us, for Buzz and I to look at uh, 30 or 40 applicants and try to wean it down to 10 to 15 to get um, essay questions and that type of thing, we're not seeing that. We're, we're getting good people. For instance, Buzz and I talked about a, another community and we've got 10 candidates we're gonna send essay questions to. So we've got, we're getting candidates. It's just, don't be shocked uh, if you don't see 40 people applying for Sherbin. Perfect example, uh, Plymouth, Massachusetts, huge community, uh, one of the biggest in Massachusetts. By the way, one of the highest paying for their town manager in Plymouth. They had 14 candidates, 14 candidates for a town like that. Um, and they had a struggle. They, they didn't find the type of candidate they wanted. They went out again. Anyway, it's a long story. The point is that you're not alone in going through this. But that's our task to find new people. This, uh, this mirrors though, our, we just did a police chief search last first six months of last year and we got 25 candidates. Yeah. Um, and, and we quickly, uh, just based on resumes, narrowed it to 17 and asked 17 to answer essay questions. One okay. of the 17 just accepted a raise and stayed where he was. So 16 yeah. people responded yeah. to the essay questions and we cut it to 10 that we interviewed. So. Uh, first round interview so we that's pretty much what we did and it worked quite well we're pretty happy with our hire so um it good. worked well good so you, you get it i mean like you guys are in the field you know you know what's happening out there mm -hmm. just don't want you to be surprised no uh, you know doesn't mean nobody wants to be in sherman <laughs> you know? um, so the timing buzz you want to talk about the essays i mean after we get the profile and challenge statement approved uh, and we send that out to candidates and they get to look at it and all that kind of stuff. And we get the, the returns uh, on the 30th day. Buzz and I will look through those returns, however many there are, and we'll narrow that down to a number that we think should get essay questions. Typically, a little different from you, Jeff, but typically two or three will drop out. They won't answer the essay questions because they don't mm -hmm. want to put it into work. Some and of the responses yeah. were some 10 pages. Yeah, you know, it yeah, was, it was, amazing. was a great part. That was a great part. Yeah, of we limit process. that. We try to limit that. <laughs> it was, that was, I, I agree with what Vicki just said. I'm not sure we heard it. it. That was really a hugely a part. important part of our police chief yeah. search. Yep. Yep. Well, uh, as they say, uh, if I would have had more time, I would have written less. Yes. <laughs> so what, what we do is um, from these little bits of information we're going to get from you folks, in terms of the challenges, the opportunities, we will craft uh, three uh, essay questions from what we learned from you folks. And um, we will send them to you. We may send you three or four or five. You can pick three, you can edit them, whatever you want. We typically like to send, uh, send out three. 
and we tell the candidates two pages per question. You know, we have some that have droned on and sent oh. attachments and this and that. You know, either they can do it or they can't. And the uh, we we found that the um, limiting limiting them to two pages, they get they get right to the point, and you find out whether they can write a, a memo or not. Whether they, whether they, whether they can write the English language in a succinct fashion. Um, so uh, we typically give them like two weekends, 10 days to do it. Uh, we'd send it out like on a Thursday or Friday. And then we have them ask them to send them back in on Monday morning, eight or 9 a.m. to our mailbox. Um, and then we, we read them, we review them. As Bob said, some drop out. Uh, and then we would recommend, you know, whatever the number is, say we get eight good ones, that's what we would bring to your committee is eight good ones. And at that point, you're going to get the um, cover letter, resume, and their essays. And then we will meet with you and, and we will go over that to determine how many you actually want to, you know, interview. Now, um, uh, a, a couple of things just to um, let you know what I don't know how much community involvement you want. Some communities um, uh, want us to come out and we typically go like to the senior center for a, a couple of meetings um, afternoon or evening and the community can come in and talk about the program. No, I don't think so, Buzz. I don't think we're going to go. That'll take forever. All right. Good. Then what Good. we offer as an alternative, we, we have a anonymous mailbox that uh, that if you folks want it, we can set it up for you. And uh, it generally is, you know, like you put something in a newspaper or on your on your town's website that says, um, you know, if you want to make a comment about the next TA or or whatever, um, feel free. It, it's not a public record because it comes to it's MRI. Yep. And then what? the office folks do is they will take the three, four, five, and they'll summarize. It. So we won't know if it comes from, you know, Mr. Jones or Mrs. Smith, you yeah. might be able to recognize it by kind of the nature of the <laughs> issue or complaint or whatever, you know, whatever they, they say. But um, we do offer that as an alternative if you folks want to use that. Uh, sometimes we get zero people, we offer it and I mean, people just don't do it. Oh, I, I don't think you're going to get zero from this town. All right. Okay. All right. And, but, you know, but, and, but do we want to do that? I mean, what, how do, what do you think? Is it necessary or? I, I think it's necessary in this town because people people get upset if they don't have their say about things. I know, but I we didn't with the police chief. So it's like, I don't know. How did you go? What, did you do this with the with you hired David? It was 11 years ago. I don't know. I, I, th I actually kind of like the idea that, see, the police chief is a little bit different because with police reform, we had sort of technical requirements, yeah, too. Yeah, I, that I think that the sort of, we had to make sure that they were truly qualified. That's why the assessment center was extremely rigorous. It, it'll be, it might take you forever to go through these emails. I'm just, just warning you, so. Well, yeah. Well, I mean, so if you want to do it, I don't know how long it would take, but what I would suggest is we, Good, could, yeah, have you, we could have you come to the select board meeting. We have a public uh, announcements at the start of the select board meeting. We could also just have a Bob or Buzz. You could just describe what you're doing and, and then we could put it on the town website or however you work the process elsewhere. But, but you could make a PSA announcement saying this is what we're doing and we've been hired to uh, lead the search for the town and we welcome your input. Yeah. Whatever you want to do, happy to do Whatever that. Whatever you want to do with do that. Kind of a draft. Well, why, if, if we want to do it, that's probably the best way to do it. And then we'll set it up on the town website. So um, if you are available for Thursday evening and you want to start it now, or otherwise we wait till April 21st. I think we can wait. Okay. Yeah, I think, I think yeah. we can wait. Okay, good. But, All right. but, but the other thing, uh, Jeff, for, from your perspective and Paul, uh, some of our towns put it out, as you say, on their website as a public service to the community. Look, yeah. you know, we're engaged in looking for our next town administrator. We want to give you, the residents, an opportunity to make comments. It's yep, an anonymous yep. email. It goes to MRI. You won't know who it is, uh, mm -hmm. but it gives to that point that Courtney, you mentioned about the community saying, be trans give us a chance to say something. They'll have a chance. 
Okay. Yeah. We also have a senior newsletter uh, from the Council on Aging that goes out, so we could put it on there too. So yeah. I'll work I'll the components of this and get back to you where it's going to land. And if you go to the meeting on the 21st. Okay. All right. Okay. Um, all right. Now, um, just going through. So if you want to stay with the uh, kind of the, 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 the timeline, then yep. we uh, would meet with um, the committee. And uh, now, uh, in terms of the open meeting law, uh, are there two selectmen or three selectmen on this? Um, There's three, platform? and I did get information from the um, town council that that's something we're, we're going to need to address at okay. some point coming up. Yep. yep, we talked about that. And, and the reason Buzz brings it up is it's important for us with the candidates Ca candidates, as you would imagine, uh, some some of these folks, uh, when they apply, have, will not have spoken to their appointing authority, <laughs> and the last thing they want is their name getting out there because you know how that works. It uh, doesn't generally work well. So, that, Vicky, we you and I have talked. Uh, so, you guys need to think about how you resolve that one way or the other. Yeah. So. Um... When we do have candidates that are going to come in and when we talk about candidates um, information, we're going to have to go to executive session and because the board is represented, the select board is represented on this committee. Um, we have to leave it as an open meeting. We can't go to executive session. So either one of the board select board members steps off and then with two, we can go to executive session or um, I have to talk to Christopher and see if there's a possibility of us inviting the other two members on so that the whole board is so we can go to executive session if that's a possibility. But either way, we have to come up with some kind of a process um, so that we can go into executive session and not um, discuss people's information uh, because it hasn't been disclosed. And that's just has to be done. I mean, there's no way we're not going to do that. Otherwise, we don't see any of the info and there's a small committee that sees it and they approve it and go forward. So, um, and I know all of you would like to be involved with that. So we have to figure out how we're going to do that. Well, so I talked to Eric this afternoon about this. So I, what I'm wondering is if we only had two select board members at a session, that would be compliant with the open meeting law? That's yeah, what, my but what, but what what if it was a different two? What if Eric and I alternated, for example? Uh, if you alternated, I, right. it would probably be fine as long as there's just two. Yes. That's, what, that's session. what Chris told me. Yeah. Right. Um, so I'm not sure what we need to do. I, now you indicated, Vicki, that you thought if we had all five. That, that yeah, I have to run that by Chris and yeah. see if that's a possibility, because if it is, maybe George and Marion would want to do that. I'm sure Marion would. Yeah. This and, issue and was highlighted in the OML training on the state, on the state website. When you take the OML training, this particular situation is yeah. highlighted as an example of what you cannot do. Yes. Right. So, yeah. yeah one, one, of the, one, of the, one, one of the problems, Vicki, with what uh, Jeff just talked about is if you get, if, if you determine that the five members of the board can sit in on this screening process, uh, does that, I, I don't know how that works because if they're all on the screening process, they're going to make determinations as to who's going to go to the finals yes. and they'll have already known those individuals. Yeah, I know. So I, I think I think we can we can stick with two and then I'll talk to Chris tomorrow about alternating and see if that works. OK, we'll figure something out. Although, yep. although when we did the police chief search, we had all five. We were all on. I know. And it actually we went saves, into executive session and it saves time because uh, we didn't um, they, at the end, we, they already all knew them all. So we didn't it really did. It made the select board approval quick kind of a. Uh, uh, it was no a smoother brainer. process. I agree, yeah. Jeff. I let, I let me talk to let me talk to council again, and then I'll get in touch with the select board and see what they think, and we'll go okay. from there. I don't want to bog this meeting down with that. We'll figure it out. Yep. Okay. Well, okay. Uh, so uh, let's say you can't go in executive session. What we would send you is um, you know the the cover letter, the resume, the essays. We would meet with you. In executive session, we would review all of the, uh, let's say, the eight uh, prospective uh, candidates that you folks would want to interview, and we will tell you uh, what we know about them. We will have talked to them. 
who have read the material. Some of them we will know from uh, other searches. Uh, we, we will have done a, a, done a very kind of basic Google uh, uh, review of them. And then uh, from that group of eight, let's say, you will say, well, we want to talk to six of them. And, and then we would set up uh, in a week or so uh, 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 interviews in executive session to go over those, uh, to meet with those four, six, whatever you want. And then from that uh, interviews, then you narrow it down to the ones that you want to send on then to the select board. And that could be all four, it could be three, certainly not two. Um, and, and what we highly recommend is you don't rate them. You don't say we like, you know, this one first, this one second, this one third. What we, and we don't do that either. We'll tell you that uh, we're going to only bring you people that we think can do the job. They can meet the challenges of the community. And, the, um, and we suggest you do that uh, going to the select board for the simple reason that it's about the fit. And yeah. you know, you're gonna bring candidates that can do budget, can do contract negotiations, can prepare warrants, that have spoken at town meeting, that you know, knows that that have the infrastructure, that have the education and experience to do the job. So then it's about the fit. And that's really where it comes to the uh, select board. To, you know, when, when they interview, it's it's about uh, the fit, the comfort level, uh, the, the the qualities that they like in in the in the candidates presented. So the um, uh, you know the that's how we kind of like the exec the ability to do it in the executive session with you folks and have a discussion about the candidates in a positive way, and then present you know four or five whatever the, the number is it's three or four or five, whatever, whatever it is to the select board to interview. Um, so that's why, Carol, the process takes time. You know, it's a very deliberative, a deliberate kind of process. And um, uh, we want to get it right for you folks, you know, and the candidates want to be treated properly and with respect and not have leaks going out so that, you know, they there's a surprise to this, their appointing authority that, oh, I didn't know you were a candidate. Why didn't you tell me? Uh, because we, we guarantee to the candidates that it is uh, a private process, executive, executive session process, until you're named as a finalist. And at that right. point, then we tell you, you, you you've got to go to your appointing authority and tell them that you are you know, in the running for the TA job in Sherborne. Um, Carol, yeah. you're on. You're on mute. I'm expecting a, a medical phone call. I'm sorry. I, I just didn't want to interrupt the uh, meeting with a uh, phone ringing in the background. Um, Buzz, thank you for going through all the points and the time frame. I mean, I appreciate that it takes time. And um, my questions earlier were just about was there a place where we could. Uh, um, maybe offer some help in, in consolidating. Um, and one thing in, the, in this contract, and I know we're gonna talk about this at the end of the meeting, Vicki, but um, am I assuming that unless it's specified as in number 10, prepare the select board for the interviews and so on, that all the other steps, um, and I was looking for a place to highlight this task force, this, Yep. this committee. Um, and am I assuming that all the other points uh, are after you interview and you do your thing with, with the folks and whittle it, it comes back to us. And yeah, I was, I asked the same question, Carol. It, yep. go ahead. You, but yeah, that's good. Bob, go ahead. I didn't know yeah. where our no, 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 involvement pretty, Yeah, yeah, was. you're right. That's no, you're, you're, you're absolutely right, Carol and Vicki and, and I and Buzz have had this discussion. Okay. The, the, the municipal resources, which is why to the point earlier about you guys reviewing the, the contract. This is a standard contract we send, and it's generally addressed to the appointing authority. But we, we, to make it easier, where you see the appointing authority in our contract, that would be the task, TASC, except okay. for the final interviews. <laughs> okay, I, that's, I, assumed, yeah. I assumed that, but I didn't see yep. it, so I didn't yeah. Yeah. No, that's right. 
Yeah, I, I point. I saw the same thing. But yep. um, you know, uh, in, in terms of the select, in terms of preparing the select board, uh, we can, if you want, provide kind of standard questions. For, you know, questions for the select board. We will certainly help you folks with questions uh, in the uh, in in the kind of the uh, semi-finalist round of interviews. Uh, you know, you will. Um, typically, you know, you're, you're going to have an, an hour interview with each candidate, maybe an hour and a couple of minutes. We will ask if you need help with questions. Since you folks have been through these processes before, maybe you, you don't need any assistance. We have, you know, we can certainly give you some suggested uh, questions or, or show you what we think might be important uh, along the way. And the same thing with the select board. We can provide them with some um, uh, draft questions for them to review and consider and, and to use as part of the process. Yeah, we're, we're there throughout the process. We're at your interviews, we're at the appointing authorities interviews. So we're, we're there. Uh, so, uh, and I know you, you're all smart enough. You've been through this stuff. There, you, you all know there are certain questions you can't ask. Yeah. So, so we'd put the time out on that question if it came up. <laughs> we had for the police chief search, we had 30 questions for each candidate. Ah, which, so you've been through it. Which yeah. included, um, when I say 30, that included a brief opening remarks and closing remarks. Yep. And it included uh, the, the 29th question. They were allowing them to ask us questions. So it wasn't all questions for them. So perfect. You guys have a, been through it. Yeah. We had a one page spreadsheet that had. Uh, note taking capability for each question so that people could consistently uh, assess each candidate. Yep. Mm -hmm. Yep. Everybody handles it different, but you guys have been yeah. through it. So you know how to do all that. Yeah. So. Um, Vicki, uh, do we have anything else that uh, we're going to no, send I think, you um, some revision? Anybody or? has questions on um, yeah. the call? <clears throat> So the history here in town is that we usually end up with only one candidate that goes to the select board. We get there usually because when, when candidates see who's selected for the finalists and that information becomes finals, they seem to drop away or take other jobs or, or whatever. Uh, it looks like they making their own judgment about who's likely to win. And we end up with only one. So the, the issue of uh, the amount of time in the timeline for the end of the process may never occur based on what I've seen happening Your over experience. the last, yep. Yep. yeah. Uh, which would shorten the timeline, but it does, it does confound the process and that the select board won't have any choices. They only yeah. have yeah. essentially one choice. You either take that choice or you, you call for a new search. So Paul, can I, can I address that? Because we're, we're always, not always, but we're confronted with that on occasion. We haven't had, as you refresh my, but we haven't had major issues, but here's what we do. Let's assume the screening committee is going to interview seven people as semifinalists. And you narrow it down to three people you want to send to the select board for the final interviews. Those semifinalists, Buzz and I are in communication with them. We don't tell them they're not moving forward. Because if something, Paul, to your point, happens and one of the finalists or two of the finalists drop out, we can go back and revisit those other semifinalists. I mean, we talked to the committee, obviously, if you felt strongly that those are strong candidates, we just didn't want the select board to interview seven people. Um, so we don't advise them because we move the process from the semifinals right to the finals. So there's about a week time in there. So we don't advise them that they're not moving forward. So we have, we have a bench, if you would. <laughs> and. Uh, uh, Paul, what we have seen dropouts near the end of the process is when there's an internal candidate. And uh, I don't want to put Diane on the spot. But <laughs> the, you know, uh, if you're, uh, what we have seen sometimes is the interim TA uh, is a candidate. 
and it's well known that he or she is a candidate. Well, kind of out of professional respect, you know, a lot of the, uh, uh, not a lot, but oftentimes people will drop out at the end because they know that Diane's such, done such a great job as the assistant TA over the years. You know, she's the, um, you know, the favorite. And in another community on the North Shore, I had that happen. The, the, uh, the TA was a candidate, people dropped out. She didn't get it. I mean, you know, <laughs> she, she, you know, compared to the other candidates, uh, the, the, the guy, the, the people who stuck it out did better than the guys who, who dropped out because they figured the TA was going to be a, a slam dunk. Wasn't that easy? Yeah. So, you know, oftentimes um, a, 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 an internal candidate will, I'll use the word chill uh, the pool, but if, uh, if, if, you don't have an internal. I, I I'd be surprised if it was just down to one. And Me as too. Bob yeah. said, we, we have a, you know we don't let people n know that they were excluded until you know the whole thing is done. So there are. The last thing I'd want to do is present you folks with, with one one candidate. Yeah. Ooh. Our police chief search was at four. It wasn't any of those conditions. We had four, we ended up with four at the end. Yeah, they were really a tier above the others. We didn't make them ranked one, two, three, four, but we they were uh, head and shoulders above the rest of the twelve or ten. They yeah. had. So what happened is two pulled out for personal reasons. One was we knew going to relocate from another state, and he assured us that he intended to do that, and his. Kids were graduating from high school, so they wasn't, you know, didn't need to be in that town anymore. And at last minute, decided not to move. And the other person had a uh, not the candidate himself, but a family member have a serious yep. illness. Yep. So, so it was for unforeseen reasons. But that person kept coming. It was that person kept coming in and out. It was a little nutty, but I know we ended up. Yeah. We ended up with the right person. That's for sure. We did. Yeah, Good. yeah, we did. George. Good. Yeah. Um, I just want to understand. You may have said this, and I missed it, but. Let's let's take a scenario where we, we're presenting three finalists to the select board, and they have that opportunity to interview each of them separately, mm -hmm. I assume. Uh, those interviews are conducted in executive session? No, those are, are in not. public. In Massachusetts, they're in public. We that just got out of Rhode Island, everything's exec session. <laughs> but for us, George, uh, once it gets to the appointing authority, those are public interviews pretty tough on the candidates, I think. It's, it's yeah, not I would easy. Say too. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, I would say too. It, it allows the public to see it. Paul's point oh, earlier made a very I'm, good point I'm... about it. It allows that. That's why I kind of like your um, survey uh, proposal for the citizens too, because it gets them engaged earlier on too. But then they can, I think we, Paul, I think we even allow the public to ask <laughs> questions, don't we, in the interview process or do they just observe it? I can't remember. We and just let them observe. I think okay. they just observe. Yeah, that, I think we can uh, akin it. We can akin it to the assessment process and the police chief, where they go through a very strict role playing situation, and they don't yeah. know what they're going to come up against. Yeah. Um, they get the questions of the role play situation like two minutes before they go into it, so they have to perform. And I guess it would be akin to that, where you know you have to see where these people are going to be able to deal with. You know, working with the select board, being on the hot seat, you know, answering questions, <clears throat> really, it, it, it does provide an assessment type environment. Um, so probably as difficult as it, as it is being public, um, if the public can't, you know, ask questions, it makes it a little bit better, but it still gives everyone a perspective of how they would act or react and deal with um, being in the public, which they will be quite often. Well, the, the, good news, the good news for you guys is that this is a TATM. The candidates that are before you have been in the public arena. Mm -hmm. they, they, they know, they address a town meeting, they've addressed citizen groups. They, so they're, they're not not familiar with right, that. Right, so scenario. it's something that yeah. they do. George, do you have another question? Yeah, it's just a follow-up. Um, okay, you've set me straight on the fact that it can't be an executive session with those finalists. Once those in interviews have taken place and the select board wants to consider them, can that consideration be done in executive session? Yes. All right. 
Um, the people on Bob's bench would know that these interviews were happening, though. No. Well, if they're following it. If they're following it. And and yeah. like I said, uh, was that Carol? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. We, we we stay in contact with people. We don't, we, we, here's the way we approach it with the semifinals. We say, look, we're moving people to the finals. There's no assurance those individuals, are, so we're not telling you you're out of the process. There's no assurance that those three or four, whatever you guys want to move forward, are going to make it there. Because as Buzz suggested earlier, some of these folks may be in other searches in the same timeline. And before Paul and Jeff uh, get the candidates, one of them may withdraw over the weekend and just say, sorry, I got a better offer over here. We then call our bench team, Carol, your question, and say, look, an individual has dropped out. Are you still interested? Yeah, okay. that's, that's a good way to do it. Courtney? Yeah. And, and, is... and, to, uh, and to Bob's point about candidates and a number of searches, um, what we recommend <clears throat> is that, let's say you have three candidates, uh, selectmen, uh, select board meet on a Thursday night, interview all three. We recommend you make that selection that night. Don't fool around because the longer you wait, if, if they're good candidates, they, uh, I mean, we know there are multiple searches. So, uh, well, I think we're going to wait until Monday or we're going to put it off for two weeks because, you know, we got, you know, town meeting coming up. We, we tell people, you, you, you got to move on it because you're going to lose candidates. Mm -hmm. And, um, you know, we don't want you to, we don't want, we don't want you to lose the good ones. Uh, that's good advice, definitely. Courtney, did you have a question? Well, I mean, this is this is pretty standard stuff. We just we just went through this multiple times over in the regional school district. Um, you know, there was an interim, um, I almost said TA, an interim <laughs> superintendent search, and you know, they had three candidates, and it's like they bring them in, boom, 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 like Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. They do, you know, all day at the school, meet with the school committee and and so on. And then in the evenings, they had a Zoom um, that was open to, you know, parents and caregivers to ask questions. Um, and we we just went through it through, with the interim, the superintendent. Um, right now, we're in the middle of the process with the um, assistant superintendent and the middle school principal. And, you know, they, they were all just, just interviewed and, you know, they all followed that same process. Um, yeah. So. so it's good to know it works. That's for sure. Yeah. Yeah. Good. Yeah. Thank you. So if I uh, could, Paul? just want to emphasize one point that when we were at the select board deciding on the size of the committee, I promised, and I think the rest of the board promised, those select board members who were not participating in this committee would have an opportunity to participate in interviews, and. I'm not sure where they would feel most comfortable fitting into the process, but certainly want to emphasize one candidate isn't really fair to the rest of the board. We, mm -hmm. In order to, to meet that, that personal commitment, I feel like we have to involve them in the process before we get to one. And if, we get to a situation where we're, we think we're heading for only one or some smaller number, we've got to bring in the rest of the board. Yeah, Paul, I think, I think um, Bob said that they won't bring one in for the rest of the board. It'll be at least three or four with a bench. And depending on what happens with the town council, all five may be in on this meeting anyway, so we can do executive session work. So um, I guess we'll wait to find out from that. But if that doesn't happen, for sure, you'll get more than one at the end of the process. So yes. you'll get the right candidates sitting in front of you and it'll be at least three. Great. Okay, good. All right, so um, now that everybody's uh, brought up any other questions, do you want me to one more time? Any other questions, clarifications? Okay, so the next steps are, I have a few things to get back to you. Um, you're going to, um, we're going to get the, uh, we're going to have the contract reviewed shortly and then um, have the town, have the uh, select board look at it on Thursday. 
and then get that to you um, over the weekend, if not sooner. Okay. Uh, the answers to the from the town council about executive session, what we're going to do for that, and then um, if everybody. And I will remind everybody in an email can send to me the top people in town that they want uh, MRI to talk to or think they should talk to. That would be good. So at least they'll have a starting point from there. And then we know where you guys are going to start. So you're basically you're going to start um, forming the job description and get that to us. Um, and then after that, you'll form the profile and start talking to people in the community. Yes. And, yep. Yeah. And sure. um, Paul. Sorry. Uh, we'll, we'll, I was I'll, I'll send you um, the uh, a draft job ad and a draft um, timeline. Okay. For good. Ne for next, we... next week's meeting for okay. for the committee. Yeah. Okay. That's Paul? what we talked about today. Okay. Paul? I, I was going to suggest that the, that the consultants interview my two colleagues who are not part of this committee. Yeah. Oh, oh I, yeah, sure. I agree oh, with yeah. that. Oh, yeah. the, five, the five select board members? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. We, we They're want probably to talk at the to top them. of the list. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. okay, thank Definitely. you. Definitely. Definitely the top of the list. Okay. So, Vicki, if, if you guys decide you want us to talk to the, uh, I don't know, police chief, planning board chair, who who's going to, is I hate to say Diane, but who's going to be our point of contact to send us their emails or their phone numbers? Or I'll help that? Diane do that. Okay. I can I'll do, do that. I'll do it. I'll do it. She's got enough on her plate. I'll do it. Okay. I'll coordinate all, right. all that. They're on our website too. You don't yeah. get the email, but you can, anyone that's, uh, they all have town email addresses. And if you go to the I, website- I'll get that, I'll get yeah. that to them. That's yeah, his, I'll take his, care his, of advisor. Issue, Vicki, if, <laughs> if you send that out, Vicki, yes. uh, to us. Yes. Um, the, the important thing for us, Buzz and I, because, hey, look, we're consultants. We email one of your department. Who the hell is that guy? I don't no, understood. Know I'll send. I'll send. I'll have a. I'll have a letter to send to everybody. Say, be prepared. You're going to get contacted. Great. That's fine. Perfect. Perfect. I already did that to one person. So yeah, that's fine. <laughs> that was verbal. Okay. Perfect. All right. Great. So are we all set? We'll adjourn and go forward. Thank so you you're, very you're much. We're not done. Our group's not done. Okay, Bob okay. and I'll drop off. Yes. Yeah. Thank you, Thank folks. you so much. See you guys. Thank you. Thank you. Go, go Jayhawks. Go, go Jayhawks. <laughs> <laughs> Good night. Thank you. Good night. Good night. Thank you. Thanks very much. So you're going to integrate that list, Vicki, of people that we're recommending. Yes. Collectively. So if you all send me yeah. names, yeah. and if I don't get something from you, I'll send out an email to remind you. And then I'll send you back. This is the list that I compiled. Yeah. Is there anybody I forgot? or that was forgotten. And then we kind of send that final one to them. Um, and then I'll, I'll coordinate all that with Diane with numbers and stuff. Probably definitely want Sean and Zach and- um, Yeah, yeah, for sure. Tom, because yeah. they all report yeah. to the town administrator. I mean, it's just, you guys put your own list together and yeah, if it's yeah. redundant, that's fine. I yeah, just, yeah. just want to make sure because yeah, we'll all forget something. Um, so if there's nine of us putting it together, we'll definitely get it. Um, the only, uh, any, does anybody have anything else they want to talk about before we get into the contract? The what about thing, the minutes? You wanted to the other thing is I have the minutes I sent to you as well, and that was under the 48 hours too, as Courtney um, mentioned. And that uh, primarily was because uh, Carol and I were going back and forth over the weekend to make sure that they were concise. Her minutes are probably the best minutes I've ever seen in my whole entire life. Um, so, um, we can wait and just approve them all next week before the meeting. Um, if you would like, I'm not, I don't want to rush it. I'd rather let's kind of walk through the, the, the uh, contract. So can I, um, can I vote to, uh, to review the minutes at the next, can I take a, can I ask for a vote to review the minutes at our next meeting? We don't, we don't need to vote on that. Yeah. You know, we can just, yeah. All right. Oh, fine. all right, so next next week, we will look at all the minutes of all the meetings. Um, I've sent most all of them to you up to date. And then the only one I'll have to get to you is this tonight's. Okay, so that being said, the contract, um, I did speak with and Jeff did as well. Town Council had this last week. They looked at it um, and got back to me yesterday, a day before yesterday and said everything looked fine. Uh, they wanted Jeff and Eric to just take a look at it quickly to make sure that um, their clauses were approved. They were fine with the clause. So 
I know I got it to you all last minute, but are you all comfortable with, a and what you brought up, Carol, I noted right away, which I wanted to make sure it was, we, we were interjected somehow in there because it says select board. So mm -hmm. when you look at the contract, you can substitute select board, pass our committee for select board, and that kind of fits it in. Mary? And I, I was just going to say, I understand, I was going to say, I had the same thought that the committee was not yes. on it, but, yeah, but yeah, I yeah. mean, their client is the select board. Yeah. So it, when they're talking about the client, they're talking about the select board, that's yeah. the legal mm -hmm. entity, yeah. right. but I, you know, just to be sure that we're all included. Yeah, yeah. no, I, I asked them because they, I don't want to be, to, I don't think we are here to be excluded. Okay. Does anybody else have any questions? I was just going to, I don't know if people had a chance to review it. I could summarize it quickly. The, the total cost is $9,800 in two installments, one at the start and one af after they've done the um, background checks of the finalists. So total of $9,800 plus they're estimating in addition to that $1,500 of expenses for advertising and other associated expenses there's some unusual things like we have to uh if a candidate comes in we have to provide space for them and some you know for, cover their travel expenses here if they're doing it in person i'm not sure if we'll do it in person or not um the other two items were um if the candidate if if, if we hire a candidate that mri brings to us and they leave either by their choice or our choice before the end of the year they refund the entire fee, the $9,800. Uh, and then and don't there's another- they also, um, pro, Don't they also say they'll come back and do yes. another search rush for yes. free? Yeah, and then yes. the other one was an unusual one. It must have had this happen, a, a poaching, I think, because there's a clause in there, which I don't yeah. think would bother us, but you know, <laughs> Can't take if, their we, people. if we take one of their people, we've got to pay 25% of the annual salary as no. a, as a as a, uh, a bounty yeah. fee or whatever. <laughs> yeah, they must have had that happen. They must have had it happen to them, but it's a, uh, I don't think that'll be a problem. No. Yeah. They seem quite good. I'm pretty pleased yeah, with them. I think so. Well, the good news is they've done their homework and they know who yes. we are very well. I mean, yeah. So yeah, yeah. I'm impressed with that. Yeah. So if and nobody else has any um, questions or hesitations about this contract, um, I would look forward to a proposal to accept the contract and pass on to the select board to um, recommend that they approve this. Does anybody? Mm -hmm. bring Mary makes that motion. Well, second. Does anyone feel, I would, I'll second it, but does anyone feel like they're not ready to vote tonight? Because we did just send it out today. Yeah. I, I went through it and um, yeah. I, I think you did a good job summarizing it. Um, and yeah, you know, I, I think we need to, I think what we're doing, if we're voting in favor, then we're voting in favor to, to, um, to pass it on to the select board. They're the one, and they yeah. need to have an opportunity, it seems to me, to look at it too. Right. Yeah. Um, I mean, my, my feeling is if we could just get it, if we're all comfortable with it and we can get it to them Thursday, Diane can put it on as a last minute, then it's in their hands to move it forward at that point. Yep. Uh, town council did go over it, two of them did. So I think yep. from that perspective, they should be okay. I don't, Paul, Paul, you haven't had a chance to look at it yet. No. I haven't, but I'll have a chance before Thursday to read it when it gets to the select board. And right. I, I'm comfortable with, Jeff having looked at it already, I think he said Eric looked at it. So yeah. two members have already looked at it. I, I trust Jeff completely. So and it's uh, standard. I mean, they, they use the same contract with a lot of towns too. Yeah, they so do. It's, yeah. it's it's probably it is pretty standard. Yeah. Pretty yeah. Standard. So I, I, I can give it a final read before yeah. the select board. Meeting. Okay. All right. So Jeff seconded and we discussed it. So right now we're going to move to send it along to the select board. Somebody needs to make that motion. So moved. Okay, Mary made that motion. Second. second. Who seconded second. it? Who did? George. Oh, George, okay. All in favor, Vicky's aye. Mary? Aye. Jeff? Aye. Paul? Aye. Bill? Aye. Carol? Aye. George? Aye. Courtney? Aye. Okay, motion approved. We will send this contract along to the select board on Thursday night with our approval and recommendation to accept it. Okay.
And unless anybody else has, um, does anybody else have anything further that they want to discuss? But just a point to Diane that this is Monday night and the meeting is Thursday night, so she can actually add it to the agenda, not as a. Yeah. Oh, okay. Perfect. We're, we're good. Thanks, it's Paul. an emergency one. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. We don't have to. Uh, Vicki, will you resend me the contract, please? I will. Thank you. Thank you. Just add it as a formal agenda item. Okay. I intend to. Diane, if you could. Do you, do, Diane, do you want to still chat after this call? No. I, no. You're good? I don't need to now. Okay. All right. All right. And I move that we um, end the meeting. It's 8.30. Uh, does anybody want to I'll, I'll second the uh, motion to move Jeff seconds to end it. the meeting. Just Mary, to, before we vote to adjourn, I just want to mention not next Monday, but the Monday after. That's that's Patriots Day. So just in terms of our scheduling. The, the 18th. Yeah. She means we're tired from running the marathon, so we won't really want to sit for a meeting. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. <laughs> we'll probably, you know, maybe we can skip it. Let me look on the agenda and see what they have planned. That might be in the meeting. They'll probably give I mean, us the job description. So we'll it's just. Not, maybe... It's not illegal to have a meeting on a holiday, but it's generally frowned upon, right, Paul? Yes. Well, I we didn't know it was a meeting when we put it in there, Courtney. So no, we'll no, I'm just, I'm just saying, like yeah, you know. Yeah. <laughs> we can change it. I'll probably yeah. maybe we can do it. Um, I'll I'll see what the select board's doing that week, and we'll make sure that we don't interfere with that. And I'll send out another one. Okay, great. All right. So, um, meeting the motion stands that it's being adjourned. Uh, Mary, how do you vote? Vicky's aye. Jeff, aye. Paul. Well, we have this joke where we vote no because we're having such a good time. We don't. Want to <laughs> you can vote no, Paul. <laughs> No, no, no. <laughs> Chuck, Chuck Yan. Chuck Yan was our token no vote. Yeah, he did that all the time. Yeah. Bill? Aye. Carol? Aye. George? Aye. Courtney? Aye. Great. And uh, the votes have it. So we will adjourn That's at 8.32. Thank what? you all so much. What? And don't hesitate to uh, contact me if you need information, if you find that you don't have it or whatever. But um, I try not to send things too much. But if I don't send them, you know, make, or if you don't get it, just let me know. One, one more thing, Vicki, it may be tough to reach Chris Petrini this week. He's going down to North Carolina, I think, tomorrow afternoon. Okay. So he may okay. not be, maybe out of pocket. He, he, he gave me a high sign and said, go forward. Yeah. Just give it to the, the board once yeah, we yeah. approve it. Yep, so we're, yep. we're good that, with that respect. Okay, yep. great. Thank you all. Thanks. Thanks. Thanks Thank you. Bye. Bye. Bye, everybody. <laughs>